this is Kent from Bear Creek Anglers in Decorah, Iowa. And tonight I'm going to tie a Copper John. It's the uh, middle of December here in Northeast Iowa. And for the most part, the serious fishing is done and I'm getting ready for spring. In the spring, we have uh, some larger mayflies, April through June, some Dark Hendricksons, some March Browns, and uh, a number 12 Copper John is a pretty good imitation for some of those, some of those bugs. I'm gonna use some goose biot for my tail. I'm gonna pull off two of those strands. There's a little bit of a curve to the uh, biot, and I make sure that that curve is pointed out to um, help with the uh, display of my tail. I want a little bit of separation from those on that tail. Now, this obviously imitates a stonefly. We don't have a ton of those in Northeast Iowa, but it's a pretty good imitation for a mayfly nymph as well. I'm going to tie my thread back as, as far as my uh, tail will handle it. As soon as my tail starts to scrunch together and that gap starts to narrow, I'll quit uh, taking my thread back. Now I'm going to tie in some red. This is a small copper wire. Um, I like the looks of my Copper Johns, when I'm using small wire, you can buy bigger wire, but uh, it takes less time to tie, but I just don't like the, uh, the looks of how that thread, or excuse me, how that wire wraps with the uh, thicker wire. So I'm gonna use uh, not the fine copper, but small copper. I'm going to wind forward to about a little over halfway and then tie off and then I'll use my uh, rotary to uh, bring my copper forward. I like the Copper Johns for a couple of reasons. Number one, with uh, obviously the tungsten bead and then the uh, the extra weight of the copper. They're one of my heavier flies that I will fish, probably the heaviest fly that I will fish. And we know when we're nymphing that it's all about weight. It's all about getting down to what I call the fish zone on the bottom of the stream, where the rocks are, where the bugs are, and where the fish are. That's number one and number two. I sort of call my copper John with the with the bright copper my attractor, and I'm gonna fish this in a tandem setup with uh, with a midge trailing. Usually my gnarly midge, sometimes a, a zebra midge, but this uh, this bright fly comes along and attracts that fish's attention, and uh, and then right behind that is my midge. Now I don't tie probably a traditional copper john with the uh, with the fancy shellback. I'm just going to use um, fibers of a pheasant tail for my uh, for my shellback and I'm going to tie in on this larger fly. I'm going to tie in eight or ten of those and uh, then I'm going to use some peacock curl, tie it underneath that. And I will tie that off so I can use my rotary on the peacock. 
Now I have a heavier hackle plier here and I really like that because in a case when I'm dealing with something dainty like uh, this peacock curl, I don't need to put any pressure on it. Just the weight of the, I'm gonna do a couple wraps, just the weight of the hackle plier is enough to hold down my peacock curl. And all I need to do is guide it. I don't need to do anything else. Take that off and then bring my pheasant tail over the top. Now I'm going to save the tips of these uh, pheasant tail fibers, split them in half. And I'm going to use these guys for the legs of my nymph. And I'll put half of them on one side. That was a poor job. half on the other side and that will those will be my my legs there we go it doesn't look too bad snip that off I'm using brown thread today I guess I use black thread from time to time uh, fairly small a dot sometimes six seems a little big uh, especially up here around the, uh, the bead when I'm tying my final knot. But uh, there you go. That's a, a Copper John tied by Kent at Bear Creek Anglers in Decor, Iowa. Hope you tie some of these and hope you have success. Thank you.